Let's get some old school and see if you can recognize this tune. It's the intro for Painted Black that we learned this week. Now, if you're still new to guitar and the finger picking thing seems a little bit daunting, maybe ignore all the zeros on your tab where it says intro riff and just learn to play this for starters. And then we'll obviously put this little part at the end of it. Um, it's quite easy. I'm just going to go through the numbers over there with you just so you get the basics. Starting at fret number three, notice my fingers are numbered. Make sure you use the same fingers. Please don't get your fingers jumping around unnecessarily, um, except for the last little bit. You can go, but we'll get there now. Let's first have a look at the basic numbers. It's going to be three on the second string, and then everything on the first string four bit, O, one, three, one, O. So if you play through with me, starting on three on the second string, open on the first, First on the first, third on the first, back to the first on the first, open on the first, and then onto the three on the second string, play three again, two, three still on that string, and end on the open first string. What you want to do now is once you've got this, sounds like it's empty and needing another note and actually they do play this later through the song and they actually do add in some extra notes but this is for a substitute for the introduction and then we're going to add the notes and that's quite sneaky you're starting with a quick open on the second string you're going to hammer on with your first finger hammer on with the second finger so it's going to sound like this hammer hammer and then pluck the open string on the first string and you want to get it really fast and the next part you'll see there's a 3202 two, just as close together as the 0230 zero, zero you played and the 3202 two, two should sound and there pick flick off the second finger flick off the first finger hit it back on and that's called a pull off pull off hammer on okay now what I really like to hear at the end of the day is something like this. And watch those two fingers. I'm going to hold my pick over here, so my pick is still actually with me. You can see it hiding there, trying to get a good angle. Because if I'm strumming, I want to use my pick. But if I'm picking, I put him away, and then I can use this. And it sounds pretty cool. And what we're doing now is we're adding in those zeros we spoke about earlier. It's going to have the zeros on the fourth string, and the original, by the way, should actually have a capo on. I've been teaching it basically without a capo because at interschools we normally play it a bit deeper in pitch, but if you play with the original, you want a capo on there, and this will be the original key. Like that. But like I said, for the interschool purposes, capos off, open guitars, sounds just as cool. And let's do it. Everything on the fourth string is the thumbs job. And you'll notice that the first finger, the one that's hiding my pick away, <laughs> okay, is playing the first and second strings as we need them. Let's take it slow motion and watch the techniques. Three, open, open, open. And here we go. the same hammer on a pull up you spoke about only I prefer bringing my fingers up for this and the reason why I break the rule and prefer fingers one and two is because they're stronger but if you find fingers two and three are working for you instead of one and two I'm not that fussy okay now if you want to use your pick and you can actually do a thing called cross picking or hybrid picking also called chicken picking, funny name, okay. Um, you can even do this, like that. And I'm actually picking the open with the plectrum and the other strings with my middle finger. One more time. As you can hear, I'm not that comfortable with it, so I'm going to return back to the 
picking my finger. I just prefer the sound of this. It's nice and easy. And I find that the concept of picking like this actually works very nice and naturally from the rhythm point of view. So one more time with me. Slow motion. One, two, three, four. Once you've done this, the song gets really easy for the first part of the verse. You're simply going to play D minor and A7, each chord twice. The rhythm pattern is one we've used countless times. It's down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. Now I'm going to focus more onto our fretting hand to take you through the chords. D minor. I'm sure you recognize this. I'm not going to spend too much time showing you the chords and breaking them down too much. A7 like that. You can see the fingers nice in position. If you're not sure, just pause the video. You can also play A7 like this, or like that, or even like that. It's one of those unusual chords, whichever combination. I like this one because my middle finger just hops up. See, middle finger for the D minor, middle finger hops up for the A7. That's my favorite. Okay. And you're going to play each chord twice through, so it's going to go like this. One, two, three, four. And then change to A7. Simple as that. Now, the sneaky part is the part afterward where he sings. The changes there are quite quick and at the bottom of the PDF is the counting or strumming pattern. Now I'm going to sort of zoom out so you can see both strumming and the fretting hand so you can see how and when the changes take place. And it's very important as well if you look at the red counting that 1 plus 2 plus 3 it should actually be counted 1 and 2 and 3. That is going to be your counting of 4-4 four, four timing and on the beat of 1 and nothing happens. So if you're in the band and somebody said let's play the part and they count 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, what I did now would be wrong. It should be like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. On the second beat you strum the D minor. Are we cool with that? So I'm going to take it through super slow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 two and three and four and I'm over emphasizing and pausing a little bit where the changes take place because it's very sneaky here yeah? it's on the count of the one and on the count of the three you're going from the D minor on two C on the third beat one and two and three stay on the C for four and F on the one I'm sure you're familiar with F finger flat remember that don't do this finger flat F is 1 and 2 and that and after the 2 C is on the and it's an upstrum you can see there F F C on the upstroke so as I played from the F second beat catching the C on the upbeat and 4 and then you go to D minor which will let you be G and A for when my darkness goes <laughs> for the chorus okay so let's just do that now we it's the part where he sings, I see the girls walk by dressed in their summer clothes. Uh, this is the part where you're going to go one, two, three, four, one, and two. And you'll notice there's a little bit of a sort of a, a rake sort of on the strum as well. I'm going to overemphasize it now so you'll know what I'm talking about. Bit of overkill. Try and get that inside as well, but obviously not as pronounced, it sounds quite sweet. But one more time, you and I together, the chorus part that we just did, don't strum on the one, we strum on the two. Go to D minor in place, let's try this. One, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. There's your rack. And one and two and three, four and one and two and three and four and G. And A. If you play it at speed now with me, from the beginning of the verse and the chorus, it's going to sound like this. And I'm going to put that rack the whole way through, accepting the offbeat quick changes. Are we ready? 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's pretty much a rhythm for Painted Black. You learnt the riff at the beginning, and you should have lots of hours of fun playing. It's a really cool song. It's a nice inter-school song, like we said. Um, should be a capo at fret 2, so you sh if you're playing with the original, put a capo on number 2, and it'll sound exactly like the original. Otherwise, for inter-schools, this is the way they do it. Have fun with it, and have a cool week. Thank you.